Hey, welcome back! It is time, Jeepers, that was loud. It is time to make recom. It is time to make some furniture. In the last video, we built a bigger version of the Lego Madrigal house. So, La Casita is now expanded. It looks all. I was going to say a lot more, but it looks more, a bit more. It looks more like the one in the movie than the, the reduced version that we had initially in Lego. So now we've got a bigger house to furnish. We're going to start off in the kitchen, but before we do that, I'm just going to take the levels up above off so that we can actually get light then down into the downstairs areas. Light into the downstairs areas, right. Okay, so first up, kitchen. And I was really... I mean, there, there was a cooking place in the original one, but we really need like a hot griddle. So that's what that's what Julietta was cooking on all the time. So I wanted a nice big hot cooking area. I mean, that's called a griddle, right? Is it like big grilling space? <laughs> so we've got that. And we on the back of it, I'm going to, there is going to be a lot of clutter in here. So I don't even know what these things are. I mean, there's a wine bottle, there's jars and bottles of sauce and there can be bottles of anything, seasonings, lots and lots of stuff for cooking and a frying pan on our hot griddle ready to go. And on either side, I'm using red because those were the colors that came with the original one. And this one, we got brown drawers getting, this one already had, came preloaded with forks from before. And on the top of here, teapot. So this is the same, I'm using the same stuff as before, but expanding on it and just making it look a bit more like I want it to look just a bit more realistic. So I'm trying to put a, there are going to be random plants everywhere because one the house really did have random plants everywhere and plus I like just putting random plants everywhere so that works really nicely. So that one's got our teapot on it. This one's going to be I don't know whether this is a storage cupboard or a fridge or an oven but it's on top of the sink so <laughs> it can be whatever you want it to be but if it's on top of the sink it's probably I don't care it's an oven now sink and oven combo. <laughs> this is perfect and some more jars of stuff. So let's install this in the kitchen. This is why I have all these tiles with jumper studs on them. So this is nestled in the grill right in front of the window. It's nice, gives you some <laughs> natural ventilation. The, yeah, the plant does fit in the corner and this does fit over here. It's just a bit fiddly, very nice. And on the windowsill, a big bag of flour or cornmeal or whatever you want it to be, but a nice big bag of cooking ingredients is wonderful. And along here, there were the big tables because preparing so much food for so many people. So I'm making a nice big long table and this oh, I could stack some like pots and pans underneath. So I'm going to make this a little bit taller so I can put two of these saucepan-y things. Saucepans? Why do I call them saucepans? They're most definitely frying pans, but once they're under there, they can look like kind of anything. Well, cooking implements. And on the top, a whole heap of stuff that is being, well, has been prepared or is in the process of being prepared. So this could be a whole platter of uh, arepa con queso. See, I looked that up. <laughs> so that was what uh, Julieta gave Mirabelle to heal her hand. So a whole platter of those. And over here, I mean, this looks like a pizza, but it can be any sort of I don't know, flatbread kind of thing. I don't know, something awesome from Colombian culture, which is delicious because it all looks delicious and now I'm really, really hungry. I'm going to put pepper in here because I haven't made Julieta yet, but pepper, I'm pretty sure everybody just mucks in to help cook, surely. So pepper's in the kitchen at the moment and in the end, entryway the door opens inwards so we're going we can put some furniture near the back but let's put this actual mat came out of one of the frozen sets but it's so perfect for the color scheme for this so so good uh, a little hallway kind of just a, a hall table and this is one that came I didn't design this this came out of directly out of another build but I can't remember which one possibly Harry Potter Harry Potter set so but I just love the fact that it has these little drawers underneath. Isn't that cute? And the color scheme is so perfect too for this too. So on the top we're going to put random stuff that you put on a hallway table. Like all of the stuff as you walk through the door and dump your stuff. So well, what all I've got on here at the moment is an envelope. So a letter and a vase with flour in flour in it. Perfect. So this is going to be all that's going to fit in this section here. But there is a little spot here where we can put the umbrella stand that was in the original build. And over here to match it, I want to put just another little kind of side table -y kind of thing with just another plant in it. Just another plant. I just love putting all the plants in, but making them all different. So this one is a little tufty kind of thing. See, isn't that cute? The plants just make it look so homey and I love that. Right, into the dining room and I've made this bigger deliberately to fit all of the family members in. 
Uh, well, not all of them. The ones that we currently have, or more than we could have initially. Anyway, I'm putting some lamps on the walls, and underneath that there's room for a side table. And once again, I'm going to just fill this with random sideboard clutter. So, things that are... Well, they just seem like random shapes to us, but they're obviously very significant to the family. Especially that pointy one. <laughs> so this can go underneath the lamps here. Nice. And now, now you, we can find out why all these jumper studs here. Because I need to put in a table that is bigger. Bigger than the original one. So we're still using the same base, but I've made it bigger just by one. My gosh, look at the dust on that. <laughs> we're just going to leave it dusty. That's fabulous. And putting on similar kind of look to what it was before, but just filling it out so much more. So this is going to have a platter full of something else. I mean, they look like waffles, but they're not actually waffles. There's something else that are culturally correct and a pie of some description over here and then teacup and a bowl. So yeah, all just, just layer it out with delicious things. And this is the original chair that came with the set, but I wanted something that looked more like the ones we have in the movie. So using the yellow ladder pieces, we can make that laddery backing to the chairs. And these, I need these in circle, but flat because they're not actually going to be able to sit on these very comfortably. These chairs are currently just for show, but I'll change them over later on when I want to actually play with it. But <laughs> for now, I like it like this. And I've got six different chairs with different cushion covers on them because I just love the fact that they puff up like little cushion <laughs> little like little cushions on the seats, but they're not practical for actual si uh, like actually sitting the mini dolls on them. But I don't care at this stage. We're here for aesthetics only. So installing these in here, hopefully I've got all these jumpery stud bits in the right place. But the reason I put those the feet that I did on the chairs is so that they can actually stick into the jumper studs on the ground. See, that's so good. And then doing the same thing on the other side. So now we can fit six chairs in here. And theoretically, you can actually fit six mini dolls in here to sit. They can all fit in here at this configuration. They just fall off because the cushions are slopey. But you know what? We're going with aesthetics right at this current time. Now, Bruno's wall space. This is like, this is such a small amount of area, but I had some really important things I wanted to integrate into here. And that is the fact that in the movie, when Mirabelle looks through the crack in the wall, this is what she sees. So his room is on the other side and his little bit of table is connected up to this spot. So that's where his little bit of Bruno dinner table is just here, snugged up against the wall. Like, yeah, if I can get it in there. Oh, there we go. So it's just tiny, but it's so... I just wanted that nod to the movie reference. And some <laughs> some broken flooring as well. So some little timbery bits that are obviously quite dangerous to negotiate your way around. And in the back, there's room for his big red chair. So I've built him a big red chair and it has to be... It needed to be quite big because it's quite a... It's quite a... It's quite a big chair. I don't know how else to say it. And I found this awesome sticker that has cracks in it because it's all broken and stuff. So I've popped this on the back, on the back of his seat. Look at this. I mean, I'm just so excited by how this has all come together. It's so bright. I mean, it could be, we could make it more fancy, but it wouldn't fit in there. So, but this is the idea. I love it. I just, I'm so excited by his little crawl space here. <laughs> His crawl wall space is sad, but it's just so good. Now, he is also getting the gramophone, which originally came in this set anyway, but I've changed the record over so that it looks slightly more recordy. And because his little section in there actually did have a gramophone. So let's see if I can get this chair in where no, I wanted it closer to the other wall. There we go. <laughs> There's no more room for anything else but this gramophone right here on the end. And there's one jumper stud there waiting for one of his rats, which is actually a mouse because it's just too cute. <laughs> I want this mouse so many more times. I wish Lego would re-release it. So now that we have got Bruno, his teeny tiny living space down here. See, just like home. And we can put his roofing back on. There we go. And now the downstairs is all refurnished and extra blinged out. Now, next level, this is an entirely new level, apart from apart from Isabella's section. We're going to make that more fancy too, though. So Isabella's corner of the room is going to have that same sofa that it had initially, 
Uh, which is, I mean, it's, it's too good. It's too perfect. I mean, this isn't her room. It's just going to be kind of themed to her colours and everything like that. And lots of flowers, very flowery. So this is going to go in the corner, back corner. We're going to have a lamp, which is hopefully stylistically, stylistically works nicely. It's going to be pink as well, like a flower. And it has this dangly tassel thing that you can pull on for the lights. I just love this lamp design. It's so good. And this was already in the initial build as well, but we'll just... Uh, we'll just add, you know, extra flowers maybe. Put these in here. Look at all that! Now, I also want a little coffee table or a little footrest maybe? No, maybe coffee table. No, maybe footrest because I mean, I'm not actually putting any jumper stars on the top so you won't be able to actually secure anything to the top of this coffee table. But this is going to be another stool and I know that that's actually a Rapunzel themed sticker on the top with Tangled but the colours were were right and I really like the gold and the purple they all go really well together so let's put these in and see how much space we actually have left so this goes here this is gonna snug right in the corner oh so good and the footrest slash coffee table in front of the couch and this is gonna go all oh, flowers are falling out but once I put the flowers back in and then put that little hanging bit over the top that's gonna hold those flowers in when I shake this around and the stool goes in here and then we've got some space here for some scatter cushions or some throw cushions or cushions that you can just pile up or you can sit on them and I know I can fit this in here if I just angle that around and then another one sitting on the top and the stickers on, on these actually came from her book you know like the buildable book with the micro doll in it and Oh, 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 on the windowsill. There was initially a very small little pot, but I've made an ex <laughs> like a bigger version of this because I've used that small pot, or I intend to use that small pot in a different place along this level. So we'll use that later, but this will just like add to all of that pinkness <laughs> that's happening out here that you see from the front. And I'm just trying to decide, that's kind of obscuring, I don't know, I want it on the side where all of, all of the pink flowers are cascading down. That looks so nice from the inside. And there's a jumper stand in the corner here to put a really nice tropical plant here. And I know it's got a splash of red, like the pot is red. We're not going with the rest of the color scheme, but we do have red on the next level. So that ties in, yeah, the red works. The red works when we pull out a bit and we see all of the colors that are in this section. Now, moving into the walkway, the hallway, this is going to be Louise's themed area and she's gonna need some dumbbells or you know barbells what do you even call these things some weights so we're gonna build her two sets of weights and then a weight holder and this design is actually from I've just changed the color scheme a bit is actually from the creator diner I think the modular yeah I think that's what it's from so we put it's really clever because you can actually sit the the weights into it, the barbells in it, and they don't fall out unless you shake it really, really hard. They're not clipped in. So we're gonna go up and I'm making the colors here. They're not actually the Louisa colors. I didn't think of that, but they're Dolores colors and they're Encanto colors. So there we go. These pop into the spots underneath the clips and they sit there so nicely. And we're also gonna put a piano in this walkway because that's, you know, she lives a piano. And this piano is an old style piano and this, this actual build came from the, I think, the assembly square. And I've rebuilt this numerous times. It originally came in black. I actually rebuilt this for the Muppets. <laughs> for the Muppets for, um, what's his name who plays the... Oh, come on, my brain! What's his name? Who plays the piano in the Muppets? I've lost it. I've just lost it. So let's concentrate on building <laughs> But it's just absolutely perfect design and stylistically perfect for this too. So this goes on one side here. We do a mirror image of that for the other side. Oh, what is this? No, don't make me bonkers. Not gonna, just not worry about it. And you'll tell me in the comments because I know you guys will go, oh, it's such and such. Uh, okay, so these go now into, this one tucks into the corner and then the piano's got a lovely spot right in front of the window. And the red lamp on the top once again ties in with those other touches of red that we can see too. Right, into Dolores's area with the nice little sitting area, the window seat. Underneath that other window we're going to put a bookcase and it's or just a place where you shove books because it's not a full case. <laughs> it's kind of just books shoved in underneath the window. So we're making some books or what appear to be books under here and I'm just using a nice mishmash of colours that work work okay with all of the rest of them. So I love the coral and the red together. They're so pretty. Now these should fit into the space now. We'll just put one more tile on there. 
There we go. And an actual real book, which is perfect colours. You just have to ignore the fact there's a troll on the front. We won't look at that. I mean, but who knows? So Dolores could be reading whatever she wants. And that flower pot that we talked about beforehand that was in the uh, Isabella's section, that's now going over here on this windowsill because it'll just fit really snugly in the corner. So on the windowsill, yep, look at that. It's just so perfect. And I uh, get yeah, a bookcase in front. It's all happening. It's just so snug. That's what I wanted for this area was just really snug and nice and cozy. So a teacup, an empty teacup that has not made it down its <laughs> way back down to the kitchen yet on the banister. And look at that. Now Dolores has got, well, and everyone has got, but Dolores themed and colored little room. Now up on Antonio's mezzanine level, which is just so parody and tropically colored, we're going to put his capybara. Which is like, I mean, it's basically a guinea pig at this size. So his guinea pig up here on this little ledge. And we can use the slide, which was used as a hammock bed in his micro book, his micro doll scale book. So that's perfect as a little bed up here. Just a, a hammock. It's a hammock now. It's a hammock section. And we'll add some jungly, tropically kind of vegetation. And another one over here for his pet toucan. Too can't, <laughs> too can, too can't, too can. He can. And this little sticker piece here actually came in the book as well. So they're going to add some vegetation on the flooring, a couple of green little mossy dots, and we're good. Oh, you know, no, no, there's actually room. We can put, we can put another animal on the hammock. Right. So I think that's as cluttered as we can make it. Let's get into Mirabelle's bedroom which was the nursery. Oh, this is what I was intending to do over here. It was actually a step down from her room into the hammock area, but I th I've set it back by one brick. So I'll fix that later because I don't actually know what I did wrong there. Let's furnish the inside of Mirabelle's room. So her bed is exactly, no, it's not quite exactly as it was. I've extended it by, by, one, by one stud, just made it a little bit longer. Did I? I think I did. I think so. And I've made her, her, her accent colors on the bed pink. Up here, we've got a nice spot for a lantern, for a light for the room. And that was actually on her bedside table, but I've, I've just deleted her bedside table because I want to put other things over here. Some pictures and a token butterfly because it's perfect and it's too right. Another picture over here. And then we need, I'm not going to be able to build it up here. We need the sewing machine. So this sewing machine build is exactly as it was in the original, except with added cat hair. <laughs> No, it's not a proper build if it doesn't have cat hair in it. So yeah, we got some cat hair <laughs> integrated into that. But I do now have a seat for this and the print for this seat came from... Come on, came from the the new the canal boat, the new can house, uh, the Lego friends canal houseboat gosh that was hard to get out and her accordion which came with the original build we'll hang that up in her room too and this was the side table but now it's a side table holding like swatches of material and just random stacked stack stuff in the corner so now we can put the yeah sewing machine in there and there's a spot for the stool right in front of it and that little plug on the wall which has a plant on the other side we can shove the accordion in there so that it can be stored nicely on the wall so it's hanging kind of wonky and there's a spot for one more rug right near the bed just to make it nice and cozy and that one is from the canal houseboat as well right okay i mean they were just the colors were just too perfect so mirabelle's room aka nursery so nice. Look at it. It's so much better. There's so much more happening in it. So the next level has got a teeny tiny section there for Abuela and a little like nod to Bruno's tower. So Bruno's tower full of sand. So we've already added some sand towers to it, but I want a <laughs> broken that. Let's get that back on again. I want a little pot that's going to hold some of the shards. So the, the pro prophecy shards and We'll use the actual green crystal thing that it came with as well. And another green shard just everywhere. We're just putting them all over the shop. And a little bit like a token bit more sand over here. And then a little bit of sand build up over here. And we, we could really, we could really go to town. But I think that's enough. On this side, we need the candle. The very important candle in the window up here. I mean, that's the sole purpose of that window. And then the original set just had uh, Abuela's bed up here as well. So we're just doing it. There's not much room for, there's no, no room for anything else really. So we've got her bed as it is, but I am putting in a mat which came out of the Tangled Caravan, but it's a patchworky mat. So it's just too nice. And this little clip on here is to store Abuela's uh, pocket watch, her little clock. So that's going over here on the wall. I'm so excited because this is just, we're almost done. 
Okay, up on the tower level, like right up here, which is just an extra spot that I made, but I've got a couple of spots to put some finishing touch butterflies. And now we are done. So it has been embiggened, but uh, now we have to, oh my gosh, now we've got to get this all onto the base level. No, that's nice and, no, it's nice and secure. I've done okay. Oh my gosh, it's not safe for a whaler. She needs a little uh, stud. We'll just kind of attach her here to the sand. <laughs> she can span those two living areas. Okay, so. The Madrigal House has been embiggened and it is pretty secure and I just, I love the changes that I was able to make, but I mean, I loved the original design itself. It just needed more. They always need more. I know that it would, if Lego made it like this, it would just really f fire up the price point and nobody would be able to afford it with the prices of Lego now, but I just love having all the detail packed into Lego. I mean, that's the whole point. Oh, yeah. So I've packed as much detail into this as I could. I hope you like it. I have had the best time planning this out and just getting it themed just right. And yeah, we've still got some more characters to, to, to make. So hopefully I will get a chance to do that very, very soon. And then when they're ready, they can fit into this house. And though I know there's not enough room for everybody, but I don't have enough... <laughs> Their rooms are like infinitely big, so I don't even know how I would start that. But anyway, this will do. This is lovely. I'm really pleased. Let me know in the comments what you think of the embiggened Madrigal House. And yeah, come back soon because there are more videos coming up all the time. <laughs> what on earth was that? All right, see ya. <laughs> oh my gosh, bye.